Hey everybody, I want to talk about this cheap Chinese padlock that I picked up yesterday. I think this is just another one of those rebranded locks that manufacturers go to and they have their name put on it. And I don't know, I've never heard of this company before, but I can tell you that it's a piece of junk. And they tried to make this look like stainless steel. It's not. It's merely a, an electroplated finish by all appearances. And it says hardened, but I don't get a warm feeling on it because I can see some stretch marks on here when they bent the shackle. Really low quality standards. They did put hardened on here on this little retainer cap. I don't know why that even makes a difference because at the end of the day, no one really cares. Either you're going to try to use a puller on this or some sort of screwdriver or a grinder. I don't even think people even use bolt cutters anymore. Everything is being ground down. These keys seem to be rampant coming out of China. Just about every lock now is using these type of keys. And I think they're called binary. And I think I know why, because you're either going to get a, uh, a no cut or a deep cut, which is, I would by all estimates, looks like about a 45 degree angle. So if we call it a zero and one, this would be like zero, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. So that's probably what they mean by binary. In any case, I think I will use this guy right here to show how I go about picking this lock. And because this is a wider sh uh, shaft on this tool, the tolerances are going to be exaggerated a little bit more, the angular displacement. So I need to figure out what side to be on this side. And I'm going to hold it like this. And I'm just going to go down the corridor on this, going on the bottom. And I feel some resistance on the bottom deal. And now I got a click. Okay. So I'm going to go back to him just to reinforce, just to reinforce or validate that is set. Yes, that's the kind of displacement I want. If you notice that set screw. Now I'm going to go on the next one. And right here, that one's not set. So let it on the tension, click it back counterclockwise. Now that, that one's set. So if you're following that set screw, that's the kind of displacement I'm looking for. And let's see here, go on to the next one. And this one seems to be not set. Now I got a movement on the core. Go on the next one. And we have an open. That's how fast it is. I really love this homemade tool that I did. I really didn't think that this thing was going to come be useful. I thought the whole thing was really just too hard to do because it's homemade and I don't own really a lot of expensive equipment, just drill press, XY vice, and this thing is so silent, it's really quiet, very little play, love it. In any case, that's all I have for you today. Um, sorry if this was a little long and I'm, my rambling today, but I hope I can share some new confidence building padlocks with you and thanks for subscribing. Have a great day.